Hey there, electricity enthusiasts. Welcome back to another exciting episode of Electricity Frenzy. I'm your host, and today we're diving into a common concern, can heavy electric appliances actually cause low voltage problems in our homes? Stick around as we break down this issue and shed light on what you need to know. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you never miss out on electrifying content. Let's get started. First things first, let's quickly recap what voltage is. Voltage is the electric potential difference that pushes electric current through your home's wiring. It's like the force that pushes water through a pipe. In the US, we typically have a standard voltage of around 120 volts for most residential outlets. This voltage level ensures our appliances work smoothly and safely. Now, let's talk about those heavy electric appliances, like air conditioners, refrigerators, and washing machines. These machines require a significant amount of power to operate effectively. When they start up or run, they draw more electricity from the electrical system, creating a spike in demand. Here's where things get interesting. When multiple heavy appliances start running simultaneously, they can collectively draw a substantial amount of power from the electrical grid. This high demand can lead to something called voltage drop. Voltage drop occurs when the available voltage in your home's electrical system decreases due to the increased load. So, can heavy electric appliances cause low voltage problems? The answer is yes, but it's important to understand that heavy appliances themselves might not be the sole cause. Factors like the overall electrical load in your area, the condition of the wiring, and the capacity of your home's electrical panel play a role too. To prevent low voltage issues, here are a few tips. Spread out usage. Try to avoid running multiple heavy appliances at the same time. This can help distribute the load more evenly. Upgrade wiring. If your home has old or inadequate wiring, consider upgrading to handle the increased demand. Consult an electrician. If you experience frequent low voltage problems, it's a good idea to consult a licensed electrician. They can assess your home's electrical system and recommend appropriate solutions. And there you have it, electricity enthusiasts. Heavy electric appliances can indeed contribute to low voltage issues in your home, especially when they're used simultaneously. Remember, understanding your home's electrical capacity and practicing responsible appliance usage can go a long way in preventing these problems. That's a wrap for today's episode of Electricity Frenzy. I hope you've gained valuable insights into the relationship between heavy electric appliances and low voltage problems in your home. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your fellow electric enthusiasts. Stay charged up and curious, and I'll catch you in the next electrifying episode. Until then, stay connected.